You want to know how I'm going to do the server? Okay. Um, first, let me give credit where credit is due. So I'm scrolling through Pinterest the other day, and <laughs> I come across this pen that I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. This is a beautiful piece of furniture. And so it is Gracie's house. So thank you, Gracie, for such an inspiration. And um, if you want to, here's her pen, and you can go on Pinterest, and she tells you exactly how to do it, how she did hers. Um, it's a gorgeous piece of furniture. I'm going to do mine a little bit different. I'm using, uh, she used Dixie Bell. I'm going to use... Annie Sloan and I have this tiny can and I use one can of paint and two of water so I filled it up with water and put it in my, my mix here and then um, I'm gonna do a wash and then some other things so hang out with me let's check it out okay so this is my my mix of water and paint um, like I said it's like two to one um, it's very thin uh, but I want it thin because I want to do it a little different than I've seen a lot of other washes. I've seen them where you know, they painted it on and wiped it off and I just want to paint it on and let it soak in. So that's what we're going to do here today. You want to make sure you have something to keep it stirred up because um, that paint can settle at the bottom and you don't want that to happen. So let's get to it. Just want to make sure that you don't have too much paint like sitting in one area and it's all evenly distributed. This is super easy, y'all. I mean, the thing is, the hardest thing about washes I have found is when you try to do it over darker wood, it doesn't always get the look. Now, the reason why I'm not wiping this off on this piece, because I want it to soak in the wood, is because I sanded it down and it's raw wood. So if you've got a piece that still has a finish on it, um, where you just got sanded it, probably not going to work how you want it. You're probably going to need to do the brush on wipe off. I also have a water bottle here, spray mister, in case I, my paint starts to dry on me and I, need, I still need to work it, but it doesn't seem to be doing that very much. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in. Um, but right here, where it's kind of pulling up, pulling up, I want to make sure you kind of even that out before it dries. So it's going to have a really pretty look. Once that water soaks into that wood, it'll just look like a very light wash over it. Um, and with this piece, I really wanted like the character marks and all to still show because this is an 1800s piece. And hey, who doesn't love history? Hmm, history is awesome. So uh, I really want those character marks to show. So for that kind of rustic, um, really updated look. So moving on. As you can see, I still have quite a bit of paint left, um, and it was just that tiny little can. Uh, but now we're going to let this dry completely, and I'm not going to put a fan on it or anything like that because I want the water to soak into the wood, so I'm going to let it dry that way, and then I'll pull the drawers out and do the lips and stuff like that, and then we'll get on to waxing. Okay, so this piece is dry now, and what's up next is we are going to clear wax it. Always, always clear wax your pieces. If you're going to use like brown wax or black wax, um, you want to clear wax at first, unless it's a specific technique and you're trying to change the color that you painted. But if you don't, the black or brown will stain your piece. So we're going to clear wax this. I think the biggest thing we're going to notice is that it will um, take away a lot of that whiteness. So you'll see the uh, wood grain a little bit better. And then after that, we're going to go on to um, probably black wax and I might mix up some gray wax. We'll see. I don't know. So you can see here now, gosh, a huge difference in the two. So um, it's just made it more um, like translucent. Like, so you can really see that wood underneath and it just looks like a very light coat of white over it. So, here we go. 
and it's exactly what I was looking for, so I'm super excited. It almost gives it that bleached wood look without having to sit out in the sun all day. But, um, but it's a little different. It's not quite the bleached wood because you can still see the paint over the top of it. Just a little bit, but hey, it works for me. It's exactly what I was wanting. Moving on. We are on to the fun part. Now, this is just kind of playing um, to see what we like. <laughs> and that's how it goes. Um, so what I have here is I have the clear wax. I also have white wax, dark wax, and black wax. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using all three. And I've got some really old artist brushes and br small brushes that I'm gonna use um, to get me the look that I want. I don't know how much I'll use the white wax, but I got it just in case I need it. And the clear wax, if you know anything about it, uh, <clears throat> working with these darker waxes, is clear wax is used as an eraser. It can it can take some mistakes away if you make some mistakes. Now I'm using brown and black because, as we all know, um, dirt is not just one color, and so I want to keep this kind of grungy looking uh, and that old world look like it's been been like this for uh, you know years and years so I'm starting with the black which will be around in the corners and then I'll work with the brown I'll add the brown in together so that they'll mix a little bit. waxing is just as um, detailed and technical as painting is so I'm just doing a little shading with the leftover wax that I have on the brush um, just to kind of blend that I don't like really straight lines because I want it to look natural so So it's just a subtle difference, but it really highlights that indention there and uh, brings that out and kind of gives it a, a dirty kind of, I mean, I hate to say dirty, but it, it's the truth, uh, kind of old world look. So it's really cool. Gonna keep on. In my last video, I showed you uh, how I was doing this slower. So if you haven't seen that, you can go back and check that out. Um, but I just wanted to show this part as I'm finishing up this server, um, working around the handles. I went ahead and put the handles and hardware back on so that I could work around that because I was really going for that grungy look. And as you know, over the years, um, dirt and, st and oils and all can build up where the um, piece is most touched so we're going to go darker in those areas like around the handles and um, things like that you want to go darker so i put black um, closest to the edge then worked out with the brown um, and then added the white wax in there um, 
just to lighten it and to give it a little bit more dimension. Also, this is an oak piece, so it's got the wood grains grab a hold of it. And so you'll see, like when you get close, you can see white speckles in there and it helps keep that whitewashed look um, while still being able to see the wood grain. So this piece is turning out fabulous. I love it. Um, I may have to keep it. <laughs> we will see, but uh, later today I'm hoping to get um, pictures for you and I will show the end result. Thanks for watching all these videos with me.